everyone to pop in often. We're locked up today. Today, today, we're gonna be learning how to PvP with LSS. Oh my, we're about to learn how to PvP. We're about to learn how to PvP. Now, A, this is going to be a PvP guide for LSS on her first job. Second, third, and fourth will come later. Thumbs up if you would like to see more. Every character will have their job. Every character will be having a chance in the spotlight. But for right now, LSS. B, I almost said number two because I forgot I said A. B, I am not going to be using Seal Tree for these guys because you guys can add your own little flavor and own little juiciness to your own skills and abilities and whatnot. If we're gonna keep this guy basic, we're gonna have to make sure that everybody can have the same stuff when they play the character. Remember, of course, if you guys want to skip these premieres, if you guys want to just watch my content as soon as I put them out instead of waiting a whole entire day for these premieres, go ahead and scroll down to that Patreon get early access to my videos as well as it helps support my channel and the videos that I make so I can keep making these videos and I can keep streaming for you guys. Now when we're playing PvP there's a couple of things you want to think about. There's essentially five things to PvP that you want to be paying attention to when you play. The first thing, jump attacks. The second thing, combos. The third thing, skills. The fourth thing, counters. The fifth thing, grabs. But not necessarily in that order but that's the main things you're going to be kind of hovering and playing around when you play the game. So first thing we wanna talk about is the jump attacks. So there are two types of jump attacks. In Grand Chase, you have a jump attack that will stay until the character lands. So if I attack, like look, look at this, Elysis. So if I jump attack, it'll stay until I land, right? Now, the other one is the one that it retracts. So if we look at Elysis jump one more time, you'll see it retracts. We're gonna put the retracting jump attack and the instant jump attack in the same category. Like Dark Assassin, Lass's DA has an instant attack. When you attack, it doesn't linger, it doesn't stay, it's just bam, okay, I'm gone. That's pretty much how that jump attack works. So the first thing you wanna do is learn what your jump attack is actually good at. Is it good at staying in the air? Is it better if you time it? Because that will let you know how you need to play. Now, what are the what are the uses for jump attacks? Well, it sets up for abilities, it sets up for skills, and of course, it sets up for grabs. As we jump attack, as you see, we can go ahead and go for a grab without them being able to react to anything. Again, jump attack, we'll be able to go for a skill without them being able to do anything. Last but not least, jump attack can also lead us into a nice juicy combo on which they can't do anything. So jump attack is highly, highly important when it comes to playing PvP. One thing that Elysis has quite frequently in her jobs are dash attacks. Dash attacks Elysis kind of strives that and it's really cool because she gets a lot out of it. So you don't need to learn stepping. You don't need to learn shadow step. You don't need to learn flash step to actually PVP. It's just there if you want to enhance your PVP experience. The only thing I think is important with Elysis is learning rocket jump. So you know how you dash, right? It's tap, tap to dash. Well, you want to tap, tap to dash, but as you're using that second arrow to the left, you're pressing um, up at the same time. So it's tap, tap like that, okay? And once you get that rocket jump down, it's hugely important because we talked about this in our stepping video that it allows Elysis to reach further with her dash abilities. So you see kind of how far that goes, right? It's not that far, not that far. But if we go ahead and uh, do the same thing, but we rocket jump, you literally clear the whole entire map. So that's why I said it's important to learn that. It's not necessary because that's how you get a lot of edge over your opponent is being able to reach that far, being able to actually, you know, catch them off guard because you're, you're jumping for so long and you literally have a hitbox as as you go. Your hitbox is like there. See, even right there, your hitbox, your hitbox is literally going with you. So you're, you're just, you just basically are a missile. And so you wanna get used to using that rocket jump. Another thing about Elsa's dash attack is that you can actually retract it so you don't put yourself in harm's way. As we see with that rocket jump, you're kind of committing to that and if you do happen to miss, you're, you're right there and you're kind of stuck. Now this one doesn't require the, the rocket dash. So what you would do is you essentially would just jump dash and attack. Easy, right? But what? Why, why would I not just rocket jump? Because you can't retract it when you rocket jump. See, you're, you're, you're fully committing to that play when you, when you rocket jump. The cool thing is like you get to overextend your body, but the bad thing is that you are overextending your body. So if we don't rocket jump, we can pull ourselves back and get ourselves to safety and literally just hit them with the tip of the attack. Now this means we're not looking to do anything else but just breaking them open. You see? There's no way he can really respond to that as much as he could if I just did this and I was all in his face. He can get up, he can grab me maybe, he might be delay grabbed, he might skill, he might do his wake up attack where he gets up and attacks. But with this, you're just breaking them down, breaking their defense, getting them to move around, and eventually you can catch them off guard with something. The next thing we want to talk about is counters, just very quickly. 
When you're getting attacked, if you hold your attack button, your bar starts to fill. As long as you have at least one bar, you'll be able to counter. And instead of you taking continuous damage, you'll counter, fall to the ground, and just lose a bar of mana. Why is this important? Because a lot of characters have juggle abilities. A lot of characters have combos, and if you get stuck in one, whether it be their skill or their actual combo, you can counter out and you'll just fall to the ground. You're not gonna take as much damage as you would have if you just didn't do it. Not everything in the game can be countered, but it's worth just holding and trying if you're in a really crappy spot. The next thing here we wanna talk about is combos. So it's up to you to figure out what your character's combo is. Why? Because you can do a lot of really poor stuff if you combo incorrectly. This is the regular combo here. You see that? Now, if I if I were just like new to PvP and I was like, holy crap, I actually got you in a combo. What usually happens is this. See how much shorter that is? You see how much less damage you do because you just ended the combo early? If you could just wait until you know your combo's about to finish. Look at that. That's way more damage. Same thing with the, the up combo, right? I can start it early and I'll lose out on damage or I can start it late and get as much damage as possible. Once again. So, as I said before, it's very important to learn your combo so you know when you can interject abilities as this. Get very, very close to the end, and then combo. Where you know you can interject your abilities, when you know you can interject your your uh, your, your up attack, your, your dash attack, you wanna know how far your combo actually goes, so that way you're able to really capitalize on those combos. The next thing that I wanna talk about is gonna be the skills. Now, there's a, couple, there's a couple ways to use your skills. One way to use them is just obviously to fire them off and you just hit people. Another way you can use your skills is just dodging someone else's skill. So let's say he's about to skill and then you skill at the same time. Okay, we're both not getting hurt. Cool. Um, it's very, very hard to land some of Ellis's skills. I won't lie to you, it's very difficult. So I would suggest trying to do your best, like I said, to get those combos in, get those jump attacks in, and then fire off your ability. You do not have to wait for that cooldown to use an ability. I've seen someone say something about it before. You can just hold the button and they'll still skill. You don't even have to press the ASD keys. You just press, you can literally just do it again. You don't have to wait for the countdown to stop. So remember that there's no cooldown for abilities unless your AP, which is the purple mana, <laughs> or your hybrid. No, actually, I'm sorry, hybrid can actually do it too. So yeah, unless you're AP, you can just press Z, hold it, and it'll go when it goes. I think I think for hybrid. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. And then of course we just want to kind of talk about real quickly the grabs. As we talked about the shadow stepping and the flash stepping actually allow you to get grabs way easier um, than you would if you just ran. Like if you just did this, it's a lot harder to get to your target without stepping. Like that. But once again, it's not it's not necessary. As long as you space yourself properly, you can get a grab. So if this dude skills, I can just jump over him. I can go for that grab. It doesn't matter. How do you grab? You want to make sure that you're dashing. You cannot grab. Oh, you can. Wow. I've never actually done that. I've always dashed. <laughs> the thing is, when you're dashing, it's just a lot easier to, to get it because your character is going to be rubbing against them. When you're doing this, you can just mistime it and do that on accident. But when you're dashing, you're like, it's very hard to just mistime. So I would recommend dashing. Who walks and grabs? That's some new stuff for me. Okay. I... <laughs> Maybe when you're dealing with something that can't dash. No, 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 no. You j okay. Scratch that. Just dash. <laughs> Don't walk. Just dash. And then you get your grab. If you're not dashing, you're probably going to risk the chance of doing something like that. And then you're going to, you're not going to realize that you started a combo and you're going to stop and he's going to have a chance to react because you didn't continue the combo. I'm pretty sure you guys have done that. And then like, oh crap, I can combo. And then you try to do it again. Um, but yeah, imagine that's a lock. Is that a lock? Nah, they'll be able to react. Yeah, they'll be able to react. That'd be pretty, pretty cool if that was a lock right there. So yeah, make sure you're dashing when you're going for your grabs, no matter what character you are. If you can get that that dash in, it's a little bit more secure of a grab. You want to always look to grab either after combos, after skills. Some characters have skill setups. Um, like Ellis's third job, Swordmaster, her first bar knocks him up. That's setting you up for a grab. Um, Ellis's combo here sets you up for a grab, and you can go ahead and grab after that. And then, as we said before, you know her combo allows you to get into a grab. So you're using grabs in a lot of different ways. You're using grabs because they're 
getting up. You're using grabs because you're using an ability. You're using a grab because it's the end of your combo. You're using a grab because it's in your, like your skill is setting up for a grab. Elisys does have some skill tree skills to set up for grabs. Know the insides and outs of your actual character before you hop into PVP. And you should be able to know like, okay, if I use this ability, it's gonna knock him up and I can get a grab. It shouldn't be a surprise to you. Okay, if I if I go like this and I can you guys extend my combo and then knock him up and then go for a grab. It shouldn't be a surprise for you. Okay, I can go ahead and combo and then at the end of my combo I can I can do this. It shouldn't be a surprise to you. You should already know like what you can do with what you got. That way you'll never be in a really weird position. Even right here, right? Oh you're sitting right there. I can just do this and I can skill you. Once again, something you should know as your character. So I hope, this, I hope this guide helped. As I said, it's not going to be like in-depth, in-depth. It's just a basic guide. Remember, of course, if you guys want to skip these premieres, if you guys want to just watch my content as soon as I put them out, instead of waiting a whole entire day for these premieres, go ahead and scroll down to that Patreon. Get early access to my videos, as well as it helps support my channel and the videos that I make so I can keep making these videos and I can keep streaming for you guys. So thank you guys. I appreciate you guys watching. Until next time, you know what I always say, I hope this helped. Thumbs up if it did so you can get more content like this. And of course, subscribe for the ride if you want to know more information about PvP, PvE, new maps, new characters. You know all the good stuff. Until next time, you know what I always say. Thank you for what? Popping often. Locked up.